Hey Cancer Placements, hope you guys are doing great. Uh, this will be your reading for the upcoming week. Just, we'll see what's going on in y'all's energy, okay? Um, take what resonates, leave the rest. It'll be for any of your placements, but I know most of you are coming here as your sun sign, so. But if there's any other placements that pop up in this reading, it wouldn't hurt to check, okay? Um, like, subscribe if you haven't already. That'd be awesome. Share it if you feel intuitively guided to do so, okay? Hit that bell notification. You'll even get notified of any of the community board posts as well. All right, Spirit. So what's going on for cancer this upcoming week? What is happening? <laughs> Please and thank you. All right. Semi-sextile energy here. Okay. Allowing opportunity with effort. Energies attract lack of ease. Potential for growth and tempers. Okay. Getting a sense that the energy might be a little challenging, but at the same time, nothing you can't handle. Okay. There's some kind of opportunity with effort. Let's see what's going on here. Potential for growth. What is happening, spirit? Obviously, something's magnetic here. Perhaps maybe a manifestation coming back, coming around, coming around. One, please. Seahorse, family matters. Okay. The seahorse could be an identifying animal or a spirit guide for you at this time. This could be surrounding family matters. Well, holidays are coming up, coming quick this week. For those in the States, we've got Thanksgiving. So maybe there's going to be some um, interesting dinner table conversation. <laughs> Let's see. All right. One piece. Thank you. All right. Dog far away. A distant friend is thinking of you. So this could be a very close friend with family and friend, or it could be a family friend as well, okay? Maybe someone that lives far away from you as an identifier, okay? Dogs could be a significant animal as well. Let's get uh, Izzy's deck here. Tell me more. got a new Himalayan salt lamp, so I was just looking at the screen to see if it could even be seen. <laughs> so I was thinking, maybe I should turn that sucker on. It is big. All right, one more. Spirit, please and thank you. I know that, that corner, that corner right here, right about here is extremely dark. <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> All right. So you have communicate clearly. Okay, so this is definitely conversation, right? Maybe someone's going to be panicked. There's going to be some panic energy in the communication, okay? You could be dealing with a Gemini. This could also be in a relationship as well because it's the lover's card. Um, could be a decision about how to communicate, okay? Or respond to somebody here, all right? I get the feeling that someone's probably just going to have some charged communication energy, all right? Nothing to worry about, though. Nothing to tempers, panic. Maybe somebody's going to be like triggered and projecting. I just heard triggered and projecting. Okay. Two, a main female, typically a feminine energy, but can be a masculine in this sort of empressy like energy. Age 30, 40, 50-ish, somewhere in that vicinity. Let's see what else. Okay. Someone that has just had a come up here, sudden wealth with 11. Maybe there's some luck here. Maybe something that they hoped for, wished for with this distant horizons. It could be this friend, okay, that's far away. That's possible. Maybe it's surprising with the panic. 
can't see how it would panic any situation here. This seems positive. Maybe it's just like um, surprising, right? And be like, wait, what? You got what? Maybe it's something last, the last thing you thought of. Maybe it's going to be something that helps the situation in a family too with this opportunity. And go with the flow kind of energies here as well, okay? Listen, spirit. Yeah, definitely. Maybe it's an offer with this uh, Sea Guardian. That's the Knight of Cups in this deck. Seven of Swords. Maybe something that feels sketchy. Maybe something that might need to be investigated a bit or looked into further. Discerned of the situation because it's an emotional offer coming in. Could also be dealing with another Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Okay. You do have the moon here, so it could very well be a Pisces as well, okay? Uh, maybe there had been something hidden. Maybe a secret comes out. <sighs> maybe something they love. I'm hearing secret admirer kind of energy. Huh, interesting. Maybe it surprises you. Or maybe it causes panic, you know, if this is two different people, okay? Or this is two different people, multiple people. If it is a family, you know, there could be a family of water signs here, okay? And a Gemini. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. All right. So what's what's being exposed here, Spirit? <laughs> I'm kind of curious. All right. We got the Three of Wands. Arrival, success. I don't know. Ambition here. beginning of something fast moving matter of days heard matter of days in a relationship here you have the lovers again gemini energy maybe something fast happening with a gemini interesting and a libra energy with justice here something that is balancing everything out so it's definitely good news i love it all right this panic spirit. Let's see. Let's see what comes out in the guidance for you. Is there anything Cancer needs to know at this time energetically? Anything they need to pay attention to, focus on? Especially with regards to why this might be a panic or a surprise. Talk to your angels instead of worrying. Ask for divine guidance, okay? Maybe the panic is just the worry and wonder, you know, about what could be happening, right? Like how you fit into the situation, right? Whether or not it's for your purpose or not, okay? Definitely getting a sense of just kind of, you know, allowing, um, letting the energy come to you before you really truly assess it. It does seem to be something that needs a little bit of investigation here. Maybe even intuitive investigation, okay? With the moon. Rattlesnake, the experiences that you're presently going through are an initiation into fulfilling your purpose as a healer. So this could be another opportunity to kind of uh, balance your energy at this time or heal any wounding. Okay, that might pop up. This may be a trigger for some minor uh, inner childhood wound or something, right? Maybe I, I just heard emergency response. Maybe there's something uh, from an you know an emergency of your childhood you know that you never really learned, or maybe something that triggers you. Like I'm immediately thinking of all those earthquake drills in school I had um, early on. Like you know the teachers and stuff would always be super panicked in the process of doing these drills instead of trying to have the kids remain calm, and that all that did was kind of trigger them to panic more because. You know, it's like, it's a shocking, anxious situation, right? Uh, but the key is to not panic, you know, just kind of respond appropriately to the situation. So I'm getting the feeling that maybe this is a situation that might trigger those old kind of memories. That's just an example that might not be what, you know, your situation is. But um, it's got that vibe to it. Maybe there's something shocking in your childhood that you vividly remember 
not having a positive response to. And this could be an opportunity to kind of heal that, that wounding a bit now that you know how to respond to it quickly. And it could have something to do with conversation or how people approach you in conversation. Like maybe not feeling less attacked now, okay? And this is more of an opportunity for you to kind of practice a better response to it. Like I know I'm a, if you're normally like a conflict avoidant kind of person, I can see that being the situation here. Maybe somebody wants to direct something at you that's surprising and puts you on the spot and you're not comfortable with it, right? Maybe it's in a, or you've got some sort of um, stage fright. That's another thing I was thinking too. Maybe somebody wants you to do a toast or something, right? Or you feel obligated to do a toast and you're not really comfortable with that kind of thing. Whatever this is, I would go with the flow on it, okay? You're definitely being guided here, all right? Don't worry. This is also another opportunity for healing here, okay? It's more practice. I'm hearing practice. Psychic development with your uh, third eye chakra here, 27 and 9 might be significant. So you're going to be able to kind of feel, you know, psychically, clairvoyantly, clairsentiently feel out the situation, okay? Whichever clairs apply to you at this time with this situation. It could be clairaudience. I am seeing that as well. Clair empathic. I'm seeing that as well. Let me see what else. Claircognizant is here a little bit with the Seven of Swords. Okay. So you might have a chance to actually develop more of your abilities as a healer with regards to your psychic. Okay. What else, Spirit? Take time out. Siesta, recharge, and rest. So pace yourself, okay? I'm just imagining like a huge amount of people around a you know, Thanksgiving table, right? Like 20 family members, like it is in my family, right? And a whole lot of people having conversation and asking questions and, and having conversation and political debates. <laughs> people getting supercharged. I could kind of see that. All right. This may be a cross-watcher read for me, too, given who's in my family. That's a cancer. <laughs> so this could be a situation where, like, you know, emotions run high. I'm going to say that, okay? <laughs> you got the moon here, so it could be supercharged. In fact, I think we have the full moon in. Oh, I have to look it up. I think it's Taurus. Okay. Kalima, facing fear, major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. Definitely shadow work, okay? Uh, Kalima is really good about transmutation of that fear energy, okay? Um, so this could be something that will trigger an inner childhood wound for you, okay? But this is an optimum time to actually do that, to face those fears and to challenge it, right? And to really transmute it at this time, to really heal it at this time. You may be ready. It looks like you're ready for it, okay? There is a bit of divine guidance here, just with all the majors. Half of these cards are majors, okay? Right here. <laughs> not, not counting that one. <laughs> all right, let's get you final guidance. From the fox fire here for cancer spirit, please and thank you. All right, 13 and 4, fleeting beauty. I see a lot of pink and purple here on this card, okay? Pink is also tied in with your heart chakra and your sacral chakra, so there's definitely some self-care and love and inner child kind of a um, connection here and just feeling your best, getting more self-care to yourself, okay? And seeing through a situation with the purple. I, I see it's just on the edges here, so it's like surrounding it, okay? 
It's mostly besides her hair, but more pink. More pink is going on in this card. And you do have that little light, right? Gosh, you can't barely see. There we go. You have that little flower light, right? Something sort of hermit mode kind of energy here, okay? Cherish the moments of beauty in your life. This card beseeches you. Ooh, beseech, I beseech you, okay. Beseeches you to look around and to acknowledge the rare beauty of life. So enjoy the little things, right? <laughs> Be grateful for all the moments that you have and all the opportunities you have coming forward, all right? Moments that are the gift, the glory of the daylight, the sweetness of everyday moments that are gifts of the universe that gives to us all each day. There is a divine beauty that is fleeting and brief, but its very short life reminds you to seize every moment of loveliness every day and to know that you're part of the great cycles of this planet. So open up to the divinity, savor the moments, Cherish them, and most of all, notice them. For so many people are blind to all the blessings the planet has offered them. Make time for experiences in your life and grow appreciation you have within. It is not as simple as saying being grateful. We must first notice the beauty around us. So maybe you might need to take a moment in these panicked energies just to examine what you can enjoy and be grateful for and appreciate, okay? It might be a distraction as well, and it may be practice as well. Oh, that is absolutely transmutive energy, isn't it? You're flipping the script from a low vibration to a high vibration in an instant just by refocusing your attention, okay? Find the pleasure in things that are temporary and do not lament their passing so hard that you're robbed of the joy of their presence. Find something in your life that is brief, that is temporary, that will not endure, as other things do, and savor it, for it is a rare and precious beauty for its rarity. Glory in the pleasures of this moment, those that lie within you, those that dwell outside of you, and know that all will return again and can be rediscovered within memory and the sanctity of reverent experience. Beautiful. Love it. So whatever is popping off, just remember to get... Get yourself in a distracting, transmutive state by enjoying the things around you, okay? There might be some messages coming through, even the smallest things, like, you know, even a phrase that a child at the dinner table says, okay? And of course, this doesn't have to, I'm just using Thanksgiving as an example, but this could be any family gathering, okay? Some group gathering situation here, okay? There you go, Cancer. Hopefully that helps. I'll see you next week. All right. Bye.